AMD may have just won the AI wars, because at the special AMD data center event that just concluded, they have revealed a plethora of new hardware that sure, for the average Joe like you and I, probably doesn't mean much, but it's absolutely game changing for the industry as a whole. And in the long term, you may actually care about this as well. But let's start with probably the biggest announcement, and that is the brand new Epic Bergamo CPUs. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong. Which feature up to 128 cores. You heard that right, 128 cores in a single socket. So on a single dual socket motherboard, you can be seeing more threads than I have people watching my videos. And that's not it, because these aren't just any old Zen cores, no no no, these are Zen 4C cores. Brand new optimized refresh of the Zen 4 architecture which we knew about for a while now, but is now finally coming into an actual product. I mean this stuff is also brand new, we don't even know when we'll be getting it on the consumer side if we ever even get it on the consumer side. And that's not the only thing that AMD announced, because they also shown off the brand new MI300 SoC, and yeah, this is where the real fun begins. So basically think of it like your standard APU, combining both high performance CPU and GPU cores, but taken to the next level, featuring up to 24 Zen 4 cores, and with a bunch of AMD cDNA3 based GPU cores thrown in as well. And the best thing is, it supports up to 192 gigabytes of HBM3 memory on board. With that kind of capacity, it even beats out in both density and bandwidth some of NVIDIA's top offerings. And at the end of the day, that is probably the biggest takeaway from all of that. NVIDIA has some huge competition in the data center right now. So at the end of the day, what should you care? Like literally, you'll never see this hardware in real life, and sure, maybe some AI model you're running in the cloud will probably be running on this stuff, but at the end of the day, how does it affect you? Well, apart from just being awesome to see the kind of stuff come to the industry and just general innovation and progress, there are definitely other areas where this down the line could definitely impact you as well. Firstly, this kind of stuff, even if it takes a while, eventually can boil down to the consumer side. So we could be seeing some pretty insane stuff, if of course way scaled down, coming to a PC near you. Secondly, if these perform well and sell well, well, AMD will have a much nicer R&D budget to work with, which hopefully will boil down to, once again, some nicer toys for us to play with on the consumer side. And thirdly, and probably the most importantly, it will finally light a fire underneath NVIDIA. Because I think it's fair to say that NVIDIA has grown a bit complacent in the gamer space right now, and why shouldn't they? I mean, AI is where the money is, it's working out so well for them, it has turned them into a trillion dollar business after all. So why should they care about something where they get basically no margins? And while sure, right now they're riding the AI wave and everything's going fine, but eventually when competition from Intel and AMD does catch up, well, they may be forced to crawl back to us gamers. And that is just such a nice word to leave on. So let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe also check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Aki B, Justin Rage, Elevroniak, Bala Roka, Mech Stumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. Down there you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. Anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'm next. Goodbye, everyone. Kid. Bye.